What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can use ExpressVPN on the Android. Now, yes, I am on a Windows PC, but it's literally the same thing. The user interface is precisely <laughs> the same thing. That's the cool thing about uh, ExpressVPN. So if you can use ExpressVPN on Windows, you can use it on any other device, essentially. Now, the only difference between the PC and the Android version is that you're going to have Threat Manager, which is sort of like an ad uh, slash malware blocker. It's just a safety feature that... Um, you can just keep on there's no harm in keeping it on and uh, whatever good it does it will just uh do it in the background without you even knowing so just keep it on and uh, by the way i will show you guys in the background i'll just put it on the screen right now uh some android footage just so that you guys can see that it's uh you know roughly the same interface there's nothing too different really um all you need to do after having installed and downloaded the vpn you can just go to locations for example and look through the locations until you find what you're looking for you've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription and using express vpn is as simple as let's just go to locations here click canada for example and if you want to turn it off just click the off button and you're good to go uh, okay so if you go to options you have the kill switch and split tunneling which you will also find on your android now the kill switch will kill your internet connection if the vpn disconnects unexpectedly making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the vpn and split tunneling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the vpn and which are not which is a very useful feature if you don't want all of your connection to be affected by the VPN in only a handful of applications or the other way around. Now you have some protocols. Again, there are similarities between the Android and PC version, uh, but if you're on iOS, you might notice a few missing features or protocols. But for the most part, between Android and uh, Windows PC, it's essentially the same thing. And that's basically it as far as features. There's nothing else really. And again, when it comes to using the VPN, whether you're looking to stream, torrent, or simply secure a device on public Wi-Fi or just bypass your restrictions or get full access to the internet if you're in a censorship heavy country, ExpressVPN will do the job just fine. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about it, I'll also link a special discount down below in case you end up getting yourself an Express subscription. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.